Hi everyone! Today I am going to pour on a 12 inch by 12 inch tile and we will see how it turns out. Um, I did a video earlier which uh, was on a wood panel and the pattern was not centered. It was kind of asymmetric, not balanced in the center. So I am going to try something similar to that in this tile. Let's see how it turns out. pattern on this tile and we decided that we are going to go diagonally so when I put my first drop uh, of, of paint on the tile you'll see that I'm in my mind making that my new center and the all the other drops that I I'm putting paint drops they are putting in a way that my um, I'm just keeping in my mind that the new center is going to be centered on the middle of the spinner when I spin it and how the paints are going to spread everywhere and how should the other flowers look like when the center is spinning that way. So all these things are in my mind when I am laying my other designs or um, putting my uh, placing my other designs on the tiles. As I am laying all my paints on the tile, you can see that my paint is pretty thick. Uh, usually, when we do bloom technique, we, our paint is not that thick. The reason behind it is I am trying to retain my flowery shapes or what would you call those shapes, I don't know but I want to retain those shapes. So it's extremely important that you make sure that your paint is thicker than usual. Um, in some instances, you'll be seeing that I'm literally struggling to drop my paint from my spatula or my spoon. After I'm done with uh, all the other colors, I love to put some 24K gold from DecoArt right, right underneath my cell activator. When I blow my cell activator with that uh, 24K gold, it gives my flowers such a rich look and I really love that effect in my design. I already shared my recipe and showed you how I mix my cell activator in the previous video if you are interested. droplets in a way that when I blow the cell activator on the green paint they will mimic uh, the leaves and at this point I feel like I need to add some extra um, things to my pattern to make it look more cohesive so I am adding some extra puddles here and there so I 
it's just me I felt like adding that This part is a little harder for me to show you how I blow my paint because I want you to see how my paint is reacting as I blow. Um, as you guys know that the paint is thicker than usual bloom so it takes a lot more effort for on your part to blow them. Usually I blow them by my mouth but when I fail to do so I use a boba straw to blow the rest of the petals for my flowers. At this point you can see that every bloom that I have, every flower, every leaves, all the shapes are pretty intact. They are, you can literally isolate one from the other one. The way I could achieve that was because my paints were pretty thick consistency. And uh, you must have that to do this technique. that's going to be the center center of my design now you will see why I mentioned that see when I uh, moved the tile the tile is placed on the spinner in a way that that first puddle is in the center of the spinner so as I'm spinning my design um, the paint is going to spread out on the vicinity or sideways and the center is going to spread out too. So when you do this kind of patterns, it's extremely important to understand how the paint or your paint is going to spread when you spin on the spinner. subscribe and hit the like button for me so I can have more subscriptions thank you very much for watching and please try to make some of these and share with us so I will enjoy looking at yours